how is everybody doing today? This is, what day is this? This is Wednesday when I'm filming. But I just wanted to come on and just say hello. And um, there's not a whole lot going on. Um, I've been busy for one. I've just been really busy um, doing things, things around the house. Um, we had um, a situation where our water heater outside in the garage um let me see what was wrong with it stop working oh yeah it was leaking water that's what it was it was leaking a lot of water getting all of our boxes and things like that soiled and uh it made me upset because i'm like oh man i'm not taking all this stuff out of the boxes look it's just gonna have to dry up because uh, i just hope my home decor is not ruined or anything like that and some of Aaron's things in his boxes um, got kind of wet. You know, I don't know if they messed up, but we had to have the water heater actually replaced. We had to get another one. That's what it was. Took the old one out, brought in the new one. Um, oh, let me show you my nails. I got my nails done today. As a matter of fact, Christmassy colors. I like them. They're nice and pointy and I could jab. <laughs> I'm going to show you in a minute. I had ordered something for Aaron for Christmas, and I had to go to my peel box and check it, and it was there. So have you guys heard about onion recall salmonella? This was back in, in October. Um, I see so many people still eating onions. And what I did was I called the FDA today. Because I needed to know what's going on with the onions. You know, there's people in the grocery stores. They're not picking the onions up. And I'm like, hmm. Because we just went to the store a few days ago just to buy a few things. And I went over there by the onions. There was nobody buying onions over there. So I don't know if the grocery stores are aware of some of the onions. They're the whole onions. And let me tell you guys the onions that I was told that we should not eat until whenever. These are the whole onions, the brown onions, the white and the purple, red onions, whatever you want to call it. It says onions by ProSource, P-R-O-S-O-U-R-C-E, and Keeler Family Farms. These are onions that were, um, that, that come from Chihuahua, Mexico. But I'm just letting you guys know, don't eat any of those type of onions, Okay because they were tainted with something, uh, salmonella. There was a lot of people in different states, so I guess it is statewide, nationwide. There were a lot of people who got sick from eating these onions back in October, okay? So don't say that I didn't tell you. I don't know if it's safe to eat. Um, you can eat other onions, but just don't eat these. I don't know, but I what I've been buying is... Um, the scallion onions. I've been buying those and fixing those, putting that in our food sometimes. And I don't eat onions that often anyway, so I'm really not missing them. But for Thanksgiving, <laughs> I didn't have any onions in my food. Now that wasn't too good because I like to cut up whole onions and put it in my turkey. I had, I didn't have any of those. What I used was scallions <laughs> and the dried onions that come in a bottle. It's like a bottle like this. You can get those from the store. 99 cent store carries them sometimes Dollar Tree, but my mother told me about those. And I'm like, well, that's not the same. That's not the same as using whole onions. And no, it's not, but that's what we use for Thanksgiving. So, you know, we made it work. You know, the turkey was still delicious. So I was told, because I don't eat meat, and uh, it was nice and tender and juicy. That's what my mother told me because I invited her over. So we had a nice time there. But yeah, I'm just sitting here watching Hallmark movies, Christmas movies that I love to do. I mean, it's just so nice. Oh, and by the way, you guys might not care about this, but I care. I mean, you know, hey, a lot of people in different states are getting all this really cold weather and wintry weather i should say with the snow and everything and california yesterday we got a lot of rain i mean that i applaud california for that <laughs> i do because we hardly ever get cold weather 
we hardly ever get snow. Anyway, I bought Aaron a Bible case cover. Of course, I can't open it up, but it's a large one and it will fit his large, his, his large Bible. So it's quite large. That's what he asked for. But yes, guys, I've been so, so busy. And I tell you, it's just, you know, I thought about filming and putting up a video a couple of days ago, but I just couldn't seem to get around to it because every time I would start or think about something, something came up. So I'm like, you know, I really hope that I can get a video up before the end of this week. That's what I was telling Sam. So here it is. Now I just need to get a bowl. I don't have any bowls to wrap up this present. So what I'm gonna do, so I won't get confused, is just write his name somewhere on here. And then tomorrow I'm gonna have to go out and get some bowls. Okay, this plain coffee table, I'm going to decorate it for Christmas. It's quite an old table, but I think it's so cute and I always like to use it. And How it turned out I think it turned out cute very festive and I love this lace this little piece of lace I think I got this from Walmart maybe a year or two ago and I just had the lady to cut it to the size I want and here are my big trees in the back and here's one on the side here then I've got my angel my pearl angel this is so pretty, I love this. And I just decided to put a an ornament right there. But here is my pearl tray. And I just put some ornaments in there to make it a little more, you know, pop of red and make it more festive. And here is my windowsill in the kitchen that I decorated. And let me show you these. I know you guys have seen these cute curtains. I love these curtains. I just draped a garland, green garland, over here like that and added the red one, kind of like in front of it. And then I have a Christmassy pit right there. Of course, my bling reindeer. You gotta have bling somewhere. <laughs> my two red candles with my candlestick holders, my glass candlestick holders. Here's a better look of it like that too cute good morning jazzy greens how's everybody doing today this is thursday december um the 16th i think or the 17th i'm not sure how's everybody doing today i hope you guys are doing well Today is my day to go Christmas shopping. My husband went and did his yesterday or the day before and then Aaron, he's got to do his soon. So <laughs> I'm trying to hurry up and get out of here because I've got an appointment at two o'clock with the podiatrist and I'm trying to leave early so I can run some more errands, you know, so I won't be out so long. And it's kind of cold today. It looks like it's sunny. And especially you can see behind me that it is sunny, but it's cold. Oh boy, it's cold outside. All right, guys, I just got out of the podiatry office. I tell you, I, I'm just, <laughs> I don't know if I want to keep coming back to this doctor. She just seemed like she's always claiming she's finding something new. No, uh-uh, no. <laughs> she's saying that there is some 
fungus on my toenails. I'm like, you know what? Look, I'm not going to keep coming back here because it seems like she wants to treat me for this, but then she says this and that and that and this. Look, I don't have time for this. And I'm a little annoyed, so I don't, I just don't like to come here. I'm tired of it. She's supposed to be treating me for um, heel pain, which she did, and it's a lot better. But, mm, I don't have time. I'm serious. I just, she's making me feel uncomfortable, and I'm really tired of coming here. So, anyway, let me just relax because, uh, <laughs> Woo, today is a great day in spite of it all. Well, I can't actually say where I'm going because Christmas gifts shopping. So, and some of my family watches my channel. So, I can't say where I'm going right now. Okay, I hope that's a little better. I didn't want to take off my mask because I actually forgot to bring my mask. My black mask. I forgot to bring it. So, I decided that I would just... Um, use the ones that I have here in the car because I always put some in a little baggie and that's that's a little tip for you guys if you forget your mask or before you even forget it put some in your car in your glove compartment or in your console that's what I do and I just put them in a little baggie so um, that takes care of that but I'm going to try to hurry up and do these errands because uh, I don't want to wear a jacket because it's it is cold, but if I'm in and out, it's okay. It's not too bad. And I'm trying to find a little lippy to put on, but there's really no reason to put on lipstick or anything like that because I have to keep putting this thing on. <laughs> I told my husband, I said, I am tired of wearing these masks. I'm just so tired of it. And now, with the state of California, I don't know why they're saying this, state mandate effective yesterday the 15th that we all wear masks indoors well that's always been like that 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 is the recent thing that has happened so I don't know what the big deal is it's always been that way but there are people who are still not wearing their masks when they come in these stores and you know it's not being enforced so it's, what's the use in saying it Right now I'm in Walmart looking for some hair products. I'm back home from shopping so and I am sleepy tired I'm actually sore all that walking I mean <laughs> I haven't been walking around in stores that long I mean I was in lines super duper long and I was almost ready to quit and just leave the merchandise there because it was just frustrating they had limited lines open I mean the registers open and oh my gosh I just I feel like a mess <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> I am super duper tired. I really am. But anyway, that's my ring light. You guys see my ring light. So I'm just sitting here in my office editing this video. And that's how it looks right there. So I'm working on it. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed today's chit chat and car vlog. I, I was glad to talk with you guys. And I will see you guys next time. The next video that you will see will be my Christmas home tour, so stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. Guys, have a blessed night, blessed day, a blessed morning, whatever time you're watching this video. Please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. See, I can't even talk right. Red subscribe button. Click on your notification bell so that you won't miss any of my videos and I will see you guys later. Have a blessed day. Bye.